and what is up welcome back to the channel uh, if you're back in here hit the like button and if you're new year stick around you might even subscribe so everything is imagination i'll just say it and obviously it's a it's a concept that most people find strange i mean what does that even mean when you say everything is imagination and i feel like a lot of people who have even said it in the past that i've kind of listened to i always wondered if they even knew what they were kind of talking about so i've i've gone over and i've discussed that ultimate state of being that i spoke about yesterday and how you are simply just the awareness the person that you are is simply just an avatar that you're seeing in the mirror and you are just the observer and this is just the character that you chose to play the truth is everything outside of that central point everything outside of that awareness of being is imagination you know and that's why it's so important when dr joe Dispenza talks about how science is the contemporary language for mysticism and it's it's so true because a lot of the times people let the logical mind get in the way right they'll say oh but i want to see the proof of this and so when you start looking at things like quantum theory and you go wow most of what we're seeing around us is just frequency and vibration and so it's interesting because every single thing is just frequency and vibration you know your thoughts that you're thinking is the exact is made of the same substance as the feelings that you're feeling that your body is made of that everything in your physical reality is made of from this universe and beyond it's all the same thing frequency and vibration in different patterns that create different forms but they're like if you think about it nobody views things the same truly i mean let's look at that other that blue dress image that went around where it was like is this a gold dress or a blue dress and you had all different types of people saying it's it's a blue dress no it's a gold dress so it's the perception is the reality and the reality is the operant powers perception your perception of a thing that's why it's like no people see the same thing the same and so that's where it kind of gets broken down to the point of why is this so important like okay so what so what if everything is imagination well then it simply means that you shouldn't be living the life that you don't want to be living it's like it's kind of just that simple if everything is imagination then and that's truly understood within you then it means that however you live in imagination and truly live there not thinking of something but thinking from something so i'm sitting here recording this right now for everyone i'm thinking from this position i'm not thinking of it as if i was somewhere else and i'm thinking of myself sitting over here and i'm doing this no you think from something you assume that it's happening and that it's already done and that's where i mean that's where the whole law of assumption comes in anyways so once you understand understand that and know okay this is all just imagination then i can just conjure up whatever i want and that's what has to play out because if you think about it this way imagination is sort of like a glass or like let's say a jar i just have a, a cup right here now think about this as a glass jar even maybe this cup so it's got empty space here and then outside here is the same empty space but it's just this is this vessel now this is your body this is your mind this is your mind is inside this is your body and this is the outside reality it's the same reality that's in here that's out here this is why you're able to make manifest things that you have faith in and then and 
the problem is most people think of something in terms of they're thinking of it uh if i had this then i would be doing that but then it's like you're literally creating exactly what you're talking about you're talking about if you had it then you would do that so then think about it you're just gonna have more moments of yourself saying that and experiencing if i have that then i would do that and so that's why a lot of people let's be honest they first of all with their inner conversation they're only talking about the problems that they have that they can see in front of them and the more that is on repeat the more you're thinking about the bulls and all these things the more you're just creating more and more and more and you're in that loop there isn't anybody else but you <laughs> there's no other person who's standing there who's trying to destroy your plans but you you're the only one who can put things into motion and get it there's literally no one else other than you and once you understand that you can take that full responsibility and that accountability and you can literally change your whole life just by thinking of and assuming something that it's already done i mean if you just go look at some of these musicians i always bring up the musicians because it's so they seem to have it down especially the ones that actually make it you hear what they said when they were going and recording music in their friend's garage in their minds they were going to the biggest studio in the world when they were filming on a handy cam what were they doing they were imagining that it's a big massive production and and they carried themselves like that and when they spoke to people even oh um i got the one of the best song <clears throat> i got one of the best songs that just came out now um i'm releasing in two weeks they they speaking about it like that and then bam it happens then the next thing they're the one of the biggest uh musicians to ever live so this is what you're able to do when you're living in imagination and another thing that i did as well was and this is called revision i read it um or i heard it from neville goddard in a lecture where he spoke about how if something happens to you during the day that you didn't like revise it at night play the scene in your mind from over exactly how you would have liked it to go and i've done it before where i kind of got jealous with something and um i imagined the scene complete and i was actually keeping that sort of anger in me or that jealousy within me and later on i just played the scene from over to where it went into my favor and the next thing that whole feeling i had of the jealousy was completely gone i was actually more happy because there was a new way that it happened and it was so real that i let it go and that's just what you're able to do so start imagining your life today how would you love to see your life what and living as that person and then you'll notice that the actions that you do will just flow with that you'll just because you're already assuming that you are the thing so and so you're just essentially being grateful for what you already have you you won't even believe how it works it's literally like magic it'll just pop up because nothing is real around you it's all in here it's all what you perceive so perceive what you want that's all i wanted to say about that i'll definitely do more videos on it because you know sometimes one just isn't enough you know if you liked the video hit the thumbs up uh, share this with someone today who's always you know the inner conversation you know it's bad they're always complaining about how this and that and the other and how life is just tough and then you see that their life is just tough and subscribe for more content old videos are over there over there and subscribe over here and i'm out peace